I am uh, Dr. Diego Majorano. I am from the Institute of uh, South Asian Studies at the National University of Singapore. And uh, my presentation today uh, was about uh, what is actually new in uh, digital politics. And uh, we can um, see that uh, not much has changed despite the fact that um, digital revolutions have uh, change all our lives, our daily lives, but in politics, when we look at the mechanisms through which politics work, then the impact uh, has been uh, quite limited because uh, many of the underlying uh, features of um, how politics works have remained uh, largely unchanged. Um, for example, fake news, which is um, a term that is ubiquitous today. Um, we read it on newspaper every day and it appears to be something that is closely connected to the digital age. Uh, but in fact, um, we can trace the history of uh, fake news uh, back, to, back many centuries uh, and across the globe, from uh, uh, Europe um, to the US uh, to South Asia. And um, this is, um, fake news is something that uh, people spread because of uh, political objectives uh, being this uh, uh, ostracized um, um, an uh, immigrant community or a different religious community or different ethnic communities uh, and these then have uh, social consequences. We used to call it rumors uh, um, in the past and we now call it fake news but the underlying mechanisms of uh, people and actors uh, spreading fake news in order to uh, spread hate uh, has, is not changed. And similarly, if we look at, for example, the way in which political parties work, uh, one uh, theme that is quite uh, relevant today is how political parties, again, from across the globe, use um, uh, big data and information technologies uh, in order to target their message towards their electorate. Uh, but this is, again, something that political parties have been doing since the very beginning. If we think of uh, political machines like the GOP in the US or the Christian Democrats in Italy or um, the Congress Party in India, uh, that is uh, gathering information about the electorates to target the message as something that uh, was um, one of the main activities. Um, so again, there isn't a lot that is new in the way in which uh, uh, political uh, actors are using uh, technologies. Political actors use the technology that is available um, to do uh, what they have always been doing, which is trying to win power. And this brings us to the issues why regulations of the digital space is so difficult. Uh, and this is because there is at least uh, um, there are at least two very big conflicts of interest. On the one hand, we have technology firms uh, that profit, for example, from the spreading of fake news. Um, we have research that show that uh, fake news are uh, more likely to be shared than actual news, um, and this. Uh, increases the revenues of technology firms like Facebook, for example, or Twitter. Um, and uh, this means that we cannot really expect these um, companies to go beyond PR exercises um, and self-regulate themselves uh, and curb the potential damage that digital technologies can do to society. On the other hand, the governments have also conflict of interest because many ruling parties and opposition parties are using um, these technologies in order to get to power. And they are caught in some sort of prisoner dilemma. If they do not use them, they know that they, especially in democracies, they will suffer um, electorally. And therefore, there is really no incentive uh, for um, uh, governing parties and opposition parties for that matter to curb uh, the power that these new technologies have brought into politics. So this means that um, it's not going to be easy to find uh, a solution to uh, some of the problems that digital technology has brought about uh, because historically um, governments tend to self-regulate themselves only after major crises, uh, which I really hope is not uh, what will be necessary for the democratic states around the world to understand that the digital revolution has brought about many opportunities, a lot of prosperity, but it also has a lot of uh, potential dangers.